that this condition of our people should make you mad. Right. We sit around in the streets at the heads of all these corners and we are out here playing, literally, while our children are walking around half dead. And y'all are cool with that. Read Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 again. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Read. Read Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. That right there lets you know as a people we are not wise at all. Right. We come out here and we sit. It is Sunday and y'all got kids and children outside half naked. And we call ourselves parents. We call ourselves leaders. Bring it out. But we got men, supposedly men, living right next to all our single mother households allowing this to happen. Right. And we don't say nothing. And then your brothers come out and actually help you to actually try to teach you with something nobody's ever done for you. Right. Nobody ever come out here to look out for y'all. Nobody ever come to your hood and try to teach you what God wants. Right. Nobody ever come out and try to teach you how to get out of the conditions you're in. Right. Nobody. But y'all listen to everybody else. We'll listen to the drug dealer. We'll listen to the whoremonger. We'll listen to the prostitute. And then we'll say that we are powerful people. No, we weak right now. That's right. And that's how we are. Read it, read it again from the top. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Read. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. That's why your brothers are standing out here coming to you. We mad. We hate the way our people are living. Right. We want to see our people on top, not on the bottom where we at. Right. Right. Read. And a gift destroyed the heart. And that's what's happened to us as a people. The Section 8 housing that we have right here has destroyed us, period. Right. That's why we like we are, because they have given us Section 8. Men, you over here at Section 8, and you can't even tell the government that you live here. That's right. But we call ourselves men and we send our women to go and get the home for us and then we come and live in there and tell them don't say nothing because we can't be here if they know it. That's right. But we men. But we are men. And get Isaiah 3 and 16. We gonna address, we gonna address the women and the men. Because it's our fault that our communities are like this. We grew up in places like this. We used to be just like you. And that's why we come out here to teach you to raise you up because y'all are no different than us. We just know the Bible. That's right. And we doing what it says. That's how we get out of that situation. That's right. But the fact of the matter is, we still right here with you. Look where we at. That's right. Look where we at. We, a lot of us still live in these situations. Right. But we keeping God's laws to come out here to raise our people up. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. Read Moreover, the Lord saith. Because the daughters of Zion are haughty. It said because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Our women are walking around looking for the sexual attention. Right. Literally. From any Tom, Dick, and Harry. Right. That's who they look at. They are sitting around dressing with their breasts hanging out. They are haughty. Right. Wanting the sexual attention, not the attention that comes from a righteous man. That when he look at you, that he's going to approach you a different way. We don't want that. Our women don't want that. Read. And walk with stretched forth necks. And they walk with stretched forth necks. You can't tell me nothing. Right. I'm going to do what I do. I know I'm fine and I'm going to attract this dude and I'm going to destroy him. That's how our women walk around. Right. Read. And once in eyes. Uh-huh. Walking and mincing as they go. Uh-huh. And making tinkling with their feet. And that's what we are doing. Our sisters are drawing all kinds of attention. And because you went about it that way, let's see what God said was going to happen to our kids. Jump up to verse 12. Verse 12. As for my people. As for God's people. And it keeps saying my people because God only calls you his people. Right. Everybody else don't go through what we go through. That's right. That's just like y'all have children. I see the women sitting on the right, men sitting on the left. Right. Y'all, some of y'all got children. When they do something wrong, you punish them. You give them a beating, not so that they continue to do the wrong stuff, so that they fix it and stop doing it. God said, because y'all won't fix the way you carry yourself, this is what's going to happen. Read it from the top. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. Read. As for my people. As for God's people, the Israelites, you so-called blacks 
Hispanics and Native Americans, only you. Read. Children are their oppressors. Children are our oppressors. How do they oppress us today? Drug dealing, gangs. That's how they oppress us. We afraid to walk down our own street. Not because the white man gonna do something, but because our own kids right. are gonna rob and kill us. All because the man is not home, but the single woman went out there to attract the man who would never be home. Read. And women rule over them. And who rule over them? And women rule over them. That's because it didn't mention the man because the man ain't home. Right. Bring it up. The man isn't home. We got men literally, uh, some of them across the street. And their child is at home with their mother. And they probably never go home to raise up that family, to raise up that son, to raise up that daughter. That's now right. for the most part, now that's just for the most part. Cause all of y'all are not like that. We know that. We know, you say y'all wanna talk? Yeah, come talk. That's not a problem. We want y'all to come talk. Now we gonna read that y'all supposed to come talk to us. Y'all go to Sunday church, but they lie to you every day. The brother the officer's been up here the whole time teaching y'all that y'all God chosen people. What Sunday church ever told you that? None of them ever proved it out of God's word. That's None right. of them. That's right. They all said God loves everybody. Right. But then we read out of the Bible earlier that God hates so-called white people. Right. We did get off the boat. Yes, we all got off the boat, men and women. And what was it? You tell me. You tell me what was the name. Does the name of the boat matter? Was we on the boat to come to slavery, though? Sis, I got a question for you. You've been drinking today. You none of my business? Let's see what God says about our people that wake up drinking early. Let's get Isaiah 5 and 11. Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. We gonna read about it. So our people come out here with not a, we, she ain't got a clear mind and go come against the prophets of God with the Bible. Bring it out. Who does that? She go, if she went on Sunday, she wouldn't say a word to the pastor that's lying to her and asking her for money. No, that's right. But we ain't ask nobody for no money. We do this for free. Right. We come out here because we want the kingdom and we want y'all to get it with us. No, right. Right. And you can't get their own Sunday worship. Right. Read. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Read. Woe unto them that rise up early it in the says, morning. Woe, meaning destruction unto them that rise up early and do what? Early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. That you gonna be out here drunk early. I know. And the Bible says, woe unto that person that does so. That's right. But we'll listen to those people that push that in our neighborhoods. The people that stand up to that, you looking at them. Your real pastors, you looking at them. But we go on Sunday and they never say nothing about trying to correct that in our neighborhood. I don't want that for your child to go outside and see that type of living and then grow up and follow it. That's not what I want to see. So let's get Proverbs chapter 1 verse 21. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 21. Read. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 21. Read. No. She cried in the chief place. Read. Concourse. Jump up to 20. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Read. Wisdom cried without. It said, Wisdom cried without. Read on. She uttered her voice in the street. That's where we at. The Bible is coming out in the street. We ain't in no pulpit. We ain't in no building on Sunday. Right. We out here in the street. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 20, verse, um, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Read. Wisdom cried without. Uh-huh. She uttered her voice in the street. She uttered her voice in the street. The most High is trying to reach you right here in the street. Right. Read. She cried in the chief place of concourse. That's that the chief place is where our people at. We write her where you live. Right. Some of us live right here. Right. And we write her where you at. Read. And the openings of the gate. And the opening of the gate. The opening of the gate is right here where this car about to come out at. That's right. The Bible said that's where the real pastor's going to be at. Right. Why the Sunday pastors don't come see you here? Right. But they'll take your money and you still live in the hoods and ghettos and ask for tithes when tithes was never money. It was food. That's right. But you give them your money and you continue to stay right here. Because they robbing us blind. Read. In the opening of the gates. Uh-huh. In the city, she uttereth her words. In the city, she uttereth her words. Read on. Saying, 
How long, ye simple ones? God is saying, how long, ye simple ones? How long are we going to stay in this lower state without thinking? When are we going to actually rise up and say, I have to do better? I need to find out how to do better. When are we going to do that? What happened? We done got comfortable. Right. We done got comfortable as a people living just like this when the white man gave it to us and they happy we like this. Right. Our schools don't even teach our kids how to read no more. Right. Our schools don't even teach our kids how to do simple math no more. Right. But it's kind of funny because our people learn how to read and do math while we selling dope on the corners. Right. We can learn math there, but we can't learn it in the school. Read. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? It said, how long are we going to love this lower state of living? How long are we going to love to stay like this? How long, sis? How long, brother, in the blue shirt walking across the street? How long are we going to love to stay like this as a people? When are we ever going to rise up to get out of this situation? What? Do we want to get out of this situation? Brother right here with the red belt. Do you want to get out of this living situation? Do you do? Now, how do, now I got a question. How do you get out of this situation? What would be your answer if I asked you? What's that mean? Your brain. So how do you do it with your brain? What do you have to change about your brain? Say so what did you say? Change the lives? You said change the lives. A lot? Got you. Hey, come around to the front. Come talk to me. I want to talk to you, bro. What's your name? My name is Clyde. Clyde? Hey, I'm Aton. Aton. I met y'all in California. Okay, so you 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 from Cali? No, I'm from right here. You from right here, though? Yeah. That's what's up. So now, so this is your community. Where are you from? Yeah. Do you like the situation your people are in? No. Nah. So you said by your mind is how we going to get out of here. What does that mean for you? How do we get out of here by our minds? What do we have to do? You gotta free yourself in your mind. Free yourself in the mind. I did five years. I learned a lot. My brother uh -huh. put me on all this. So you know you're Israel? You know you're an Israelite. Yeah. So what must you do to help change your people's mind? Because you can reach people. Think about it. You gotta lead by example. Exactly. I gotta fix myself if I can fix somebody else. 100, 100 percent I'm with you. So how you start doing that? By acknowledging what's wrong with yourself. What's wrong with you? A lot was wrong with me. Alright, give me one. If you don't mind sharing. Look, I used I to be hormonging too. I used to be out there in the streets too. It is what it is. I don't mind telling people it's what I used to do. I don't do it no more. Me neither. I went and got married. I you went, so now you married. Years. So you took a step. I can't hold after five years. So now what you must do? Give me second, Ezra's uh, 13, 14, 13. I gotta take care of my family. That's it. We're gonna read it out of the Bible. Is it alright with you? You got about five, ten minutes? Let's get it. Second Ezra, chapter 14 and verse 13. Hey, listen up, family across the street. I know we got my man standing in front of us, but we talking to y'all too. Read. Now therefore, set thine house in order. Like you said, you got to get your house straight first before you help somebody else. God said you must do that. Set your house in order. Read. And reprove thy people. And reprove thy people. Correct your people. Meaning, you see a sister right here selling herself or hoeing out what you supposed to do. If you gonna correct her. Supposed to help her out. Help her out how? No, no, no. If she's hoeing, is it against the laws of God for her to sleep with a whole bunch of men? Yeah. So if you know that and you're supposed to correct her, what are you supposed to tell her to do? I Stop. I don't, I don't, I'm going to tell you this. this, is how I, this yes, sir. This me, man. Yes, sir. This I know. I know. I know it's you, I but we're going to talk about what God said. I, I know. I know. All right, I let's know. get it. Man, I know a lot. You know, I, I'm I glad. Lot, I, I want to talk to you. Let's get it. I'm going to tell you something, though, man. I done done a lot of stuff. Yes, sir. Man. I want to know. I, I know. I, and you ain't got to go into that because you yeah, seem like you're a little hesitant. Everybody. You don't want to tell me. I got to fix myself, though. Yes, sir. I got something I got to do myself. Bro. All right, give me. We're going to start. Be my people, Hold that. Get, Listen, let me tell you, 316, 1 Corinthians. Be my people, man. Yes, they are your people. Yeah, Look, yeah, they are our people, too. Yeah, what that mean? You know, I know. Not everything right. you're saying now. I yes, sir. I ain't know. I, I, so, I, so now, me. what must you do? You have to start somewhere. We're going to give you a few laws. And it's up to you after that. It's up to you. But the fact of the matter is everybody walking by going to hear these laws too. That's, That's why we got this mic. That's why I'm loud. That's right. Because God told me to be like that. That's and this is exactly right. what the hell I'm going to do. Read. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. We ain't in Jerusalem no more. We over here now. So now the temple is your body. You. 
They temple over there is they body. They body. Let's see how we gonna, what, what God going to do to us if we keep jacking our bodies up. Read. And, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Can God dwell anywhere? Where it's all kinds of wickedness, all kind of defiled actions. No, he does not dwell there. It just he it said he dwell in you. Yeah, he dwell in you, but I'm you Let's see what he do. Let's read. I'm gonna finish, finish this. Let me stop right there. Let me finish this though. Okay, now nah, I want you to go there. I know, but you, you said though. that I'm gonna let you talk you after we finish the script. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You gonna let me speak after you finish? Yeah, we having a conversation. All right, cool. Let's get it. Let me tell you what I found. Uh huh. You know what I found? What you find? Yes, sir. In his name. What does that mean in his name? Like what, what you're does doing that right mean? now. What y'all doing right now? Right. So so if people are gathered in sin, is God there? Because is that in his name? Uh -huh, which his you go? Mm. You know what I found today? I'm gonna show you something. Yes, yeah. And a lot of our people find it there. But when we get out, why don't you apply what you was taught in prison? I am, and that's why I'm here. I'm gonna show you because you got a cig you got you got a cigar cigarette in your hand, black and mild. I'm gonna show you something. It's start though. It's a start. I know. I'm gonna show you something. Read where you was at. Hold where you was at, and then we gonna get because he hey, said that God's with us. You know why I like you though. Why is that? Man, you just like my older brother. I swear to you. You're late. Hey, well, stay here and talk to me. If I look like your older brother, hey, tell your older brother, huh? Yeah, there it is. Read that. Second we all brothers, and, that's why, and I'm out here to talk to my brother. I'm out here to talk to my sisters that's over there too. Like I told you, like you said, they are people too. Y'all are family too. We love our family. That's why we come out here. That's Read that. Second address, chapter 14 and verse 13. Oh, I want 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Okay. I apologize. That's what I want. All right. Let's get that because we have to. Hey, we're going to help you. We're going to help our people that's listening to fall too. Now, whether or not they take heed to it, that's up to y'all after the word come out. Read. 1 Corinthians First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. It up. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Like we say, you the temple of God, your body. How you doing, sis? You sure? I, can you pull over? I want to explain that with the Bible. But the Bible says God love Israel. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read. If any man defiles the temple. It said if any man defiles the temple, if you defile your body. He's smoking to destroy your body. All the cancers and stuff that we get from smoking. You're perfect. No, none of us are perfect. But that's the whole point. Are we supposed to be working on it, or do we? Is that an no excuse face. for us not to try? No, I face my face. Yeah, it is different. But what do we must do? Where I, came from. I, I know, bro. We where all I'm come saying, from the same type you know, life. It ain't the same type. Like what I'm saying, where I came from. Uh huh. Where I came. This where I came from. Born and yeah. I'm saying, how far you looking at me now? Yeah. How far I don't. I don't know. I ain't know you when you was a child. That's what I'm saying. But how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I just turned 28. So you 28, right? So much more. So listen to me. What's your name? One more time. Clyde. Listen to me. Listen to the Bible speak. It ain't just. It ain't me talking. Cause we reading it out of here. Read that. Finish it up. Verse 17. Uh huh. If any man destroy the temple of God, because your body is your temple, like you say, you don't come a long way, but you can't stop. Go, right? But if you got people that's looking at you as an example, you it, the Bible commands you to stop. Period. And then it, it that's in order for you to go over and teach them. Read. Him shall God destroy. So if we out here getting drunk, getting high, fornicating, all kinds of the stuff we doing, smoking cigs, cigars, God will destroy you. How? Deuteronomy 28, 61. How wow. is God going to destroy us? Because from smoking cigs, what does it say on the pack that we will get from smoking cigs? It don't say you might get it. It don't say that it might happen. It says you will. And our people will continue to smoke it as though it's not going to happen to them. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 61. Read. Out. Also, every sickness and every plague, uh -huh. which is not written in the book of this law. So it said every sickness and plague which is not written in the book of the law. Lung cancer written in the Bible? No. But ain't that what we get from smoking cigarettes? God, you people think that happens just by accident. No, God did it. God did it. Because the devil ain't never killed nobody.
playing around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.